Well, although it is the first day of autumn, the Jersey Shore beaches were still packed with people today. Among those beachgoers was a world-renowned sand sculptor who was working on a special project in Ocean City. Our Nina Barati met with him this morning to see what he's been working on and learn more about the good cause behind the project. Ready, set, walk. Instead of a horn blasting or a waving flag, the start and finish of Ocean City's eighth annual Walk for the Wounded is being marked in the sand. We're doing a walk for Operation First Response, which is an organization that provides both financial and emotional support to wounded soldiers returning from overseas. They give them plane tickets for family members to go over and see them overseas. They make sure their medical treatment is there. They pay their bills, their rent, anything that while they can't work and their family can't work while they're injured, get them back on their feet. To bring something a little special to this year's walk and to help raise awareness for their cause, the organizers at Ocean City Home Bank decided to hire a Jersey-raised expert sand sculpture to build a visual masterpiece. Sand has to be wet in order to make a sand sculpture. You know, everyone wants to know the tricks and it really isn't. It's just back to, you know, a kid building a bucket and turning it over. It's the same thing I do, but I use bigger buckets. Gowdy has been working for the past three days on his creation, which will also include a purple heart to help visitors remember our veterans who have suffered combat injuries. He's been building right next to the busy music pier, where Saturday's walk will start and finish. I love talking to the people, but I have to work too, so it's a, it's a balancing act for me. Although he has a sign that says, do not disturb the artist, John Gowdy tells me that he has been frequently making stops to talk to his audience, especially the veterans who see a different meaning in his sculpture beyond the sand. One veteran was from the Second World War today. I really love talking to the veterans. They really, uh, you know, it hits them in the heart, you know. A special ceremony starts at 9.30 a.m. on Saturday with soldiers who have benefited from Operation First Response. The walk is free to join in, but those who raise money can earn rewards. But at the end of the day, Siliberto says 97% of the organization's earnings will go directly to our soldiers. I'm Nina Barati for SNJ Today.